It's Wednesday, July 17th. It's my husband's birthday, but he is at work. He's like out of state. Anyways, I will be having a busy day of doing honestly groceries and going to different stores. I need to go to at least two grocery stores. I need to go to Food Lion, Trader Joe, and probably Harry Cedar because I need to get coffee. Then I will be going probably to pet smart to get some warm medication for my cats and uh, i need to get gas and i may stop at michael's because i want to make a little necklace like this one but completely from like little red why did i almost say white red beads and my husband is coming home tomorrow i'll be making a cake hopefully i'll succeed i'm trying to find a way to make cake filling for the blueberry cake i know how to ba bake the the thing because i actually bake it very frequently like just blueberry you know like a base but i never made frosting or cake filling so that will be new but i think i can do it it just the recipes i've seen i'm not really sure of making a frosting out of just jam and butter but i read that if you buy like better butter like miyoko's that would be better and i never bought that uh, butter so yeah you know chef's problems <laughs> but no i'm very excited i feel like just because i know how to bake the cake itself i, I think it will be fine and i'll be baking it tomorrow and i actually really want to make the glaze onion sun-dried tomato pasta from tiktok it just sun-dried tomatoes are so expensive so i want to look at Trader Joe's food line to see how expensive they are but yeah i feel way better monday recharge day was successful yesterday i woke up feeling better and i've been i don't know yesterday i've been reflecting on my past actually today because i couldn't fall asleep after my cats woke me up and i've been reflecting on my past and i'm like wow i'm really grateful that i'm here Year that I met my husband and that I'm able to be myself because I was reflecting particularly on the past like connections and relationships and basically the fact that I always had to pretend to be someone else with other people and with my husband I like never had to pretend it just I'm just like so grateful because recently like it's been very very tough my journey here has been extremely tough and I had to confront myself many, many times and just being 30 years old and starting life from the scratch, looking for the job, being like, hire me and, you know, please, 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 begging. I, f I feel like I'm begging, which is actually not the truth. I know that it's just my perception. But despite this journey being tough and hard, I'm just still so grateful for, you know, the place we live in, for my sons aka my cats my husband his support and it's it's just i don't know i'm just so happy that i am able to experience this and be myself and i don't have to pretend to be somebody else and then i also was thinking that in my journey i always get things that i want a little bit later i have to wait a little bit you know i think maybe the universe is teaching me patience so yeah I know everything that I want will come true and already I feel like my younger self would be like amazed that I'm actually here and I have the love of my life and you know I'm able to experience things that I I never even thought about experiencing and I feel like it means that other things that I want in life will come true too. Just a little bit later. I just need to be a little bit more patient. So and keep working on myself because everything that I wanted that came into my life came at the exact moment i feel like if i met my husband earlier it would not work out because I, I wasn't in the right state of mind i don't think he was and then when we met i feel like that was the perfect moment and so i think the same way about you know job and other things other goals like education and stuff like that money so everything will be here at the right moment when i'm ready i just need to stay focused dedicated and keep working on myself so but yeah let's start our day so got the gas went to pet's mark so now we're going to food lion to get some food <sighs> super hot i'm trying to hop myself up to film at trader joe but the issue is that i actually forget to film it's not like i'm scared to film i am yeah i, I just forget to film so that's the main issue okay let's see i need it very much it's very hot mm, it's okay 
I really like the Barbie one. That one was divine. The other ones, mm, I don't know, maybe cream soda. That was a good one. Our last stop of the day or second to last because I don't know if I'll go to Michael's. But yeah, we're going to Trader Joe's or Trader's Joe. I keep forgetting how it's called properly. Okay, I'm home. It's been very long since I've done a haul. Hair Seater, Trader Joe, Food Lion. There's a Hair Seater, Michaels. First things first, flowers. They actually, wow, they actually smell, those roses. Actually smell for $4. I think this is pretty just to brighten the house a little bit. This is for bathroom. I love having aloe or something green, like a green plant in the bathroom. So yeah, this will go to the bathroom. Did I say Ello? I meant eucalyptus. Then coconut milk for the onion sun dried tomatoes pasta. My cat is here. I love Trader Joe's postcards. So I got two for journaling. In one, I will write a gratitude list, things that I want to grow. And second one is just, I really like what it says here. It said, those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. <laughs> Pringle is here. Unseen, unheard, but always near, still loved, still missed, and always dear. And I just like, you know, the image, obviously, mountains, I think it's cute. They had way more, and I'm, I was like really willing to buy more, but I was like, okay, two is enough for now, for journaling. Oh my god, I have my food police, grocery police in here. And I got a Trader Joe this sun-dried tomatoes, but I actually went to Food Lion first and I got their sun-dried tomatoes. But anyways, frozen food, I got some for me and for my husband, it's no longer frozen. Vegetable rice for me, this chicken fried rice for my husband. I got this heavy uh, whipping cream alternative for the cake that I will be making. But we'll see how it will go. I don't know. I couldn't find agar agar for the recipes, so I will have to improvise. But I do have a backup plan. Then I got the coconut oil spray for like baking. Got none for my husband. I cannot eat it, but he can and he likes it. I got this bulgaki. It's vegan. This is for me. I got this veggies for the fried rice recipe and bulgaki beef. And then I got this for my husband because. I just forgot what he eats from the frozen department, so I just got a few things and I hope he will be able to, um, you know, eat it. The last thing that I got for him is this, so yes, now I need to put it away. Okay, then because I'm going to uh, make blueberry cake, I got two bags of blueberry and I keep them in this box. Oh, they smell so good. I usually don't like frozen blueberries, especially in the US, because they just not the blueberries I know back from Latvia, because we have those blueberries and they smell divine and usually you can find them in the forest. But in Belgium or in, uh, in the US, they sell different type of blueberries and not the blueberries I know, so this is kind of sad. But those are the exact like wild blueberries or huckleberries, I don't know. But they're so freaking good, perfect. So that will be for the smoothies and for the blueberry cake for my husband's birthday. Then I got coconut cream, possibly for the cake, but I don't know, I will have to just improvise the recipe. And then I got the mushroom seasoning because it's good. And I got nutritional yeast because it's good as well. Okay, this is I got from Michael's, just little red beads for the necklace I want to make. I also got sunflowers, like fake sunflowers there, and I'll show you later. This I got at Hair Steeder for the cake again. The only only had salted version so again I'm kind of scared but hopefully it will work out blueberries for the cake lettuce cucumber and lemon then I got black beans because I love eating rice and beans obviously coffee blueberry <laughs> Pringle I thought I got blueberry jam oh my god I got blackberry jam 
Oh my god. Then I got this vanilla extract. It was on sale, so it's a small one, but whatever. Three avocados. I didn't really have a big choice from avocados, but they cheaper than anywhere else, so I just got three. And then, as I mentioned, sun-dried tomatoes and those... Um, yeah, those are cherry tomatoes. Those are really good, so that's my big, big haul. I spent like two hours driving around, and I think that's it, yeah. So now I'm just going to put it away. Okay, I'm making this, gr not grilled, glazed or whatever, caramelized onion pasta, but... Oh my god, I just realized I got so many onions. <laughs> it's like free onions in here. Um, yeah, so it will be very oniony, <laughs> if that's a word. Well, now it is. But anyways, it's just so freaking much. You can barely see tomatoes. Hope it will just become smaller. But oh my god, how did I think that free onions is just... Why made so much? I am actually at the art museum. I signed up for Mindful Museum. So now I'm going to do that and my bag is falling. Last time I didn't go, but this time I decided to go. I'm a little bit nervous because I do offline sessions and now I'm going to meet probably some of those people who I met on Zoom in real life, which is exciting. Let me tell you that. But it was amazing. Mindful Museum was amazing. We meditated twice and it's so funny. Like I had many thoughts and many ideas and there was a painting that I seen that kind of reminded me of my childhood. Well, not kind of. It reminded me of my childhood summer. And uh, the lady who organized it all, she said a very interesting thing that actually it's so basic but I never thought about it. That we cannot just grow and expand all the time and this is so true because as human beings we always talk about growth 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 keep going uh keep getting better you know keep perfecting yourself but rarely we find space for slowing down i mean i feel like nowadays people create more space for that but as someone who is into self-growth and personal development i never really like thought about it like slowing is a part of self-growth process and yes this is basic but i thought it was so smart and really needed for me and then also in the second meditation um i was envisioning a tree and with wind and basically like it's a nice memory you know summer was a topic of this conversation and meditation and so on the way back here to the parking lot i seen a tree and i st first started filming it because it was just so nice but then i realized that this is exactly what I've seen in my meditation, and this is like a sign. Yes, we can be rational and say, Julie, it's about to rain, it's windy, it just weather, but I thought it was just so nice. It's like me and nature or the other world, my angels, my spirit guides were connected and they can see and hear me and I can see them and I can feel them and they're here with me. It was just like so special and I'm so glad I went. It's It was amazing, it was a big group, I was nervous, but the museum was just for us and we were sitting and then we were able to walk and explore and that was so lovely. But now I'm going home to eat my onion pasta. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it looks right. Oh my god, my onions got burned. I added coconut. I feel like it's too watery. I will put it into the oven while the pasta is cooking and hopefully, I don't know, it will get better and the pasta will soak 
some of this liquid, but yeah, um, it doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, well, it's ready, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I will try it, and then if it's bad, it's bad. I will be the only one who will be eating it, and if it's good, I guess... I'll make my husband to try it as well, but here it is. Okay, pasta update. Not bad, but definitely needs some perfection. If you don't like onions, you probably will not like it. I feel like different type of onion will work. Also, I remember that I remember that I forgot, but I remember that I forgot garlic. It's not bad, but I definitely could uh, cook pasta a little bit more. And I don't know, maybe add some cream cheese, but yeah, it's, it's okay. It's edible. It's not like those Instagram recipes, but that was actually six recipe but yeah i'm in my chef era there is a rainbow sorry about the bird feeder it broke so it's hanging but there is a rainbow so close to the ground oh my god It's Friday. I am in front of the infamous Pepper's property made from the Chewy Box. <laughs> he actually loves this. Like, he legit lives in there. Um, I don't know if you can see, but he is right there. Pep's property. No one is allowed in there. Went to the library and I got a few books that I need to finish. You've probably seen them in my videos before. Roots and Branches. Do Better Spiritual Activism. This one started reading probably two years ago. It's Witch Queens, Voodoo Spirits, and Hoodoo Saints. It's quite interesting. And I, I really need to finish this book. And I need to finish this book. Vivian Mayer developed. It's it's a good book, honestly. It's so detailed, but I just need to finish it. I also went to Michael's because I got a $5 coupon. And you've seen before, I showed you some stuff from uh, Michael's for Halloween. And there was this skull with mushrooms like a pot and a decorative pot and i was like damn it's already on discount it was 29.99 which is kind of ridiculous but they sell it for 17.99 which is like more appropriate price but then i also got five dollars off and i was like okay i need to get it so i went and got it but i also got this ribbon and those very pretty crystals and basically what i'm gonna do i'm going to attach those crystals to the ribbon and i'm going to hang it in the car now i'm just going to drink more coffee and do some admin work i still need to journal and then once my husband will be at home we will cut the cake that was a disaster he said it looked good my mom said also it looks good but <laughs> Oh my god, I picture completely something else in my head. But yeah, let me show you the skull that I got. Here he is. He's still empty. I just put him in here. But isn't he cute? Also, yesterday I went to the thrift store and I got those DVDs. Dark Knight, I like the Christopher Nolan trilogy. West Side Story, never watched it. Not the old one, not the new one, but this is the old one. In her shoes, I really want to rewatch it, but on every damn platform you have to pay for that. So I just got the DVD. And it's a good movie as far as I remember, and the reviews are good, so I kind of trust it. And then I got True Greed. I watched this movie several times. It's actually for free uh, on uh, one or two platforms, but I was like, actually, I really like this movie. I watched it uh, several times, and I do like Hailey Steinfeld? Steinfeld? Sorry if I mispronounced her name. I mean, I definitely mispronounced her name, but I really like her in, uh, in that movie, and yeah, I just feel like this movie's quite interesting and I li like uh, modern western stories so I just got those DVDs and I'm quite happy my collection is growing it's raining I didn't even see it was raining oh my god what the heck I look like I don't know who <laughs> Anyways, I got something that I'm very excited about. I got a perfume from Amazon and it was Chocomoco or something like that. I, I may be wrong. We'll see right now. I've seen like a few people that I follow on Instagram and TikTok. They made a review for that and they really liked it. So I was like, well, okay, it's very affordable. So let me get it. I don't have a perfume. I actually used to make my own like mm, sprays with essential oils, but I just need to do that. Okay. I'm just procrastinating. I really want a perfume so i was like okay let me get it so here it is a little package i kind of feel like i will not like it because other people were saying like oh my god i love it okay i mean for uh 8 50 okay i'll take it okay i'm very scared let's see i'm so scared i'm i'm first going to smell the lid 
Oh. I mean, yeah, it smells like a, you know, a cheap perfume that you get at like a beauty supply store or so. I definitely feel like it won't last long, so, but okay, let's, let's try it. Oh, by the way, this is a bottle. It's actually quite cute. Glass one and not plastic, so yeah, really cute. Oh, Choco Mask, not Choco Moco. Where did I get Choco Moco from? Okay. <laughs> oh my God, let's see. Oh, I feel like it's oily, but then it's like a lot of alcohol. That's how I do my sprays though. I add distilled water, a little bit of alcohol, and a bunch of essential oils. Yeah, it's not bad, but it definitely reminds me of those like cheap perfumes. I mean, it was cheap, so I'm not mad about it. It's actually quite good. I just make this necklace and I love it so much. It's so cute. I think red looks good on me, but it gave me the idea to make waist beads with those rings in between and with like a metal, I don't know how it's called, but to make waist beads with, with this thing. So I think this is my next project. This is what I will do. I think it looks really cute. I like little gentle necklaces like that. So I just finished this waist beads and they look good. And I'm restoring my second one, or I mean my very first one that I made that were on the nylon um, thread and I just got a very genius idea to make it for like a window so hang it like that like that and it will be so pretty on the window oh my voice sounded weird but with like cute crystals hanging from those rings I feel like that would be so freaking cute that would make the house look so much more whimsical Like exotic. Mm, I don't know. But uh, there should be a fruit around here somewhere. Wow, look at that. They have a maypop fruit. There's another one about to open up here. Oh, yeah, I see. But there should be fruit here somewhere. That's for real, like a, one of those things. Hummingbird, moth. That's crazy. It's so tiny. It looks like a hummingbird. Damn, so many bugs. I like this wasp, wasp or whatever. That's crazy. It looks crazy. I like the equipment honestly for ghost hunting, but it's a kind of expensive, like 200. No, it's not. Oh, that's Jimmy D. Good morning. No matter where I stand, there is like literally no flattering light for me, so. I'm just in the kitchen. It's around what, like 5:20 a.m. on Monday. My husband got up to go for the work or to work. And I just woke up with him. I couldn't fall asleep, so I thought, okay, let's make this time productive instead of just being on the phone. So I'm making my coffee. I will do some admin stuff that I plan for the day. I plan for the jobs, and I plan to be done around like. 12 p.m. I obviously will take breakfast break and I may take a meditation break because I found this center that does zoom meditations. It's actually a Buddhist center. I also do real meditations, but I thought, okay, let's try zoom meditations. Also, I done my nails yesterday. I absolutely hate it and I was reflecting on my personality and who I am and I'm like, wow, I used to like this color. I used to like how it looks, but now I absolutely hate it. I put the first layer and I was like, but I still went ahead because I was too lazy to take it off. So it just it's just not me. I think I know my color palette for like nails and it's good to finally have some, you know, realizations when it comes to your style because I mean as I said, I'm so lost. I don't know who I am. I don't know what my personality is when it comes to the style. So yeah, at least we know it's not the blue nails. I went outside for a second. I wanted to bring peanuts for squirrels and uh, crows, hopefully. I'm still trying to attract them. You can hear them. They landed once in this yard and a couple of times in, uh, in the front of the house. But um, yeah, it feels so nice. It feels so fresh, still warm. It's 
almost 7 a.m. and it's still warm. It's just so nice to stand outside and enjoy a calm morning before all the people wake up and start making a noise. Yeah, just trying to enjoy it a little bit. I don't know if you ever look at someone and think, oh my god, they're really trying to be happy, but their eyes are so freaking sad. This is how I feel. I don't know, I just don't like how I look today and... I also feel like my eyes are so sad all the time. I just try to be happy. I have a imposter syndrome for happiness. Such a weird feeling. Also, early morning realization. I just realized that like 90% of the time, whenever I do something, I feel like I need to justify it so that I don't get canceled. Or, you know, people don't think something about me. And I'm like, you're not gonna get canceled for putting like, I don't know, red eyeshadow on your eyes or putting a little bit too much blush because i love when you can see blush you know or wearing you know lipstick why do you think like that it's just such a weird thing i wanted to try a new hairstyle actually and that's what made me think about it i'm like well i need to like explain why i'm doing that and i'm like no you don't you just want to try it it's literally a bun with a hairpin there is like nothing to explain it's just an overthinker mind like why do i feel like that why do i feel like i need to justify and i think it's actually from the point of willing to be approved and i thought you know i already worked through that not completely but i thought i was in a better place when it comes to being approved by others yet not really. Sometimes I'm just like so tired of myself. That's okay, we're going to get better and... Or I'm going to get better. I hope you'll get better too. I'm going to see Maxine, but it's raining so hard. Luckily, I got umbrella, so... Okay, well, I'm clearly not at the cinema. Basically, what happened, I went there and confidently said, one ticket for Maxine, and they said, we don't show Maxine, and I was like... And she was, she was confused, too. And so I looked it up. Yes, it's like 30 minutes away from the place where I was, and I'm like, damn it. Like, how did I miss it? I went to the thrift store. Let me show you what I got because I found some great DVDs. DVDs is probably the only thing that I'm shopping for now. This is our love. Well, before I will show you the DVDs, I got this book. I started opening it and I started reading some beats and pieces and I was like, wow, this is actually very interesting. And I read certain like quotes from them before, but I was like, okay, let me just get the book. So DVDs quite excited so the very first dvds that i got that i've seen are those vanity fair and van helsing van helsing is actually on hulu but i watched it a long time ago and i remember i watched it actually a few times and i remember loving it the same way as i loved underworld and i know it has like bad rating but i love those movies so i just got it then i got vanity fair because i want to watch this movie but again it's on some platforms and you have to pay for that to rent so i was like you know what i think i would like the costume costumes and i will enjoy the movie so that's why i got it i like this outfit or like the veil i think it really looks nice and then i hit a jackpot so first movie that i found was pretty in pink classic i love this movie so much so yeah i just got it i think that's a very nice addition to our dvd collectors collection <laughs> then i found mom's day 2 pack and it has Still Magnolias and Sleepless in Seattle. 
I never watched Slippers in Seattle, but I absolutely love Still Magnolias. It's just such a nice movie. Definitely something that I will be rewatching. And funny enough, it was on my list of the DVDs to buy. And then the last one, I found this one, 16 Candles. Also, I think it's a classic. It's such a good movie. And I found it very funny and very strange that these two movies were together. I feel like someone just gave their collection away. Not too bad I got them and I'm really happy about this one. So yeah, I'm so happy about my purchases. No Maxine, but whatever. I feel way better. Actually, I started feeling better when I was going to the thrift store and the young woman opened the door and I thought she was letting someone out, but she was letting actually me in. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. It really made my day, made me feel better. Raleigh. I'm from North Carolina. All right. And this, and it's smaller than the last piece we looked at. It's, it's, um, maybe just over a foot tall and a little bit less than a foot wide. Um, so it is a portrait as, as it's been said of Frida Kahlo. Hello. It's almost a Wednesday. It's Thursday. I just passed my final post licensing class. Now I'm going to be a full broker. Anyways, that's the good news. I'm happy. I'm relieved. I was kind of stressed, but I passed with a good score, 95%. This is good. I'm going to Dorcas. I was contemplating if I want to go or not. I just want to look for Halloween stuff and they should not be really busy there. It's been raining the whole day. We have gazillion birds. I actually identified one. It's American goldfinch. It's such a beautiful bird, especially a male one. But um, yeah, he is either gathering or like eating uh, the black eyed uh, Susan seeds. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, I'm just going to go to the thrift store and then watch a movie probably at home. I'm I'm going to see Maxine. The cinemas that still show Maxine are kind of far away, so I just watch something at home and wait for Maxine to be released on the streaming services. Am I upset? <laughs> yes, I am, <laughs> but it's my own doing, whatever. I found a bunch of duties. They didn't have anything for Halloween, which is weird, but I just like fulfilled my collection almost. I have a long collection for DVDs, but I just got a bunch of DVDs that I wanted. They also had Eat, Pray, Love, but I thought, okay, I just watched the movie and I'd rather wait for it to appear at Trips to Give because their DVDs are for $1 and the door because they sell them for $2. They did have Beethoven. I had to get it, but it said first movie, second and third but the box only had second and third not the first one and i love first one the first one is the one i want so i mean that's whatever i'm about to show you the dvds that i got and i just realized that beethoven was not missing a dvd it's basically one and two on one dvd and the third one is on the second dvd so it's three movies but only two discs anyways let me show you what i got today so, quite exciting. Okay, so I will be showing these DVDs in the order that I was discovering them and somewhere in between there was Beethoven. If not Rain, I would have went now, honestly. But anyways, so the first movie that I, I found is Pan's Labyrinth and I hope I pronounced it right. And I was like, damn, they actually have it? That's amazing. And I love this movie so much. My husband hasn't seen it. So I think that would be a great movie to watch. It's very artistic, very beautiful, very sad, but um, again, very beautiful. So I'm happy I have it now. Next one is, I will not pronounce this word. I should because I studied Spanish. But anyways, it's so hard to find movies by uh, Pedro Almodovar. I am even looking at the uh, big collection that is sold on Amazon for $35. So maybe it can be like my birthday gift. But yeah, I'm just so happy to have his movies. I actually like older movies. This movie is not necessarily my favorite one, but I really miss his color schemes and you know, his movies and his artistry in general. So definitely this one I'll watch soon. So I'm happy to have it. Next one is one of my favorite movies. Watchmen and again I'm just so happy to have it I used to have it when I used uh, used to live in Belgium so now it's back in my collection I'm very happy about it next one is white noise and I love this movie it's it has extremely bad rating but maybe now watching it my opinion will change but when I have seen it I was like oh my god yes I need to get it 
actually initially when i seen it i was like yeah i absolutely need to get it initially i got this movie in a different box but then i have seen this one and i was like okay i'll rather get it in a better box so i was surprised they even had two of them they also had dragonfly and i love this movie as well but again the ratings are bad and i'm like Maybe I will buy it for $1, but not for two. Next one is The Exorcism of Emily Rose. I love this movie as well. I probably will not be watching it by myself. Uh, I'll wait for my husband, but yes, I'm very excited to have this movie. And every time I would see one of those movies that I like, I'd be like, damn, they really have a good day today. Next one, another addition to my Tim Burton collection is Sweeney Todd. I love this movie. I love musicals. I actually went to watch this movie in the cinema, so I have great memories about it. Then I got The Book Thief, one of my favorite movies. I love this movie so much. I'm really happy to have it now. I used to rewatch this movie a lot. I still need to read the book. I did not read the book, but it's okay. I also have seen Little Women, the older version, not the very old version, but I think from 90s or 80s. Eat, Pray, Love and Beethoven. So I think I'll be getting Beethoven tomorrow. I may get Little Women because it's a classic, but it's not like my favorite, favorite movie, but I think it's a good movie to watch during Christmas. But yeah, this is my little collection or extra addition to my collection. I think this is the best one so far. And the one that I did on what day? On Tuesday or Wednesday, I think, or Monday. I think that one was also quite good. Okay, an update. You think I'm crazy, but I went back to Dorcas because I actually went to Thrift to Gift. Anyways, I went back to Dorcas and I have it. Woohoo! I couldn't find it. I literally almost had a heart attack. I was like, where is that movie? It wasn't where I put it. Uh, there was a mom with her kid and I didn't want to push them, obviously, but I was so scared that they would find this uh, DVD. Luckily, no one knows this movie, so I'm safe. And also, at Trip to Gift, I got the holiday. I just wanted to add it to my collection for the holiday season. And then a white oleander, I think it's pronounced. So I remember watching the movie a long time ago, and I remember loving this movie. So for me, it's like very interesting if I will like that movie. Because when I was watching it, I was a teenager. But now I'm an adult, and I don't know, we'll see.